the seventh year anniversary. Seven Dragon Balls. The number seven is lucky in Japan. How is this upcoming anniversary not going to be the best celebration in Dokkan history? Ever since we received this leak last night, which is basically, you know, the new Dragonstone ore that we can exchange for Dragonstones during the seventh year anniversary. Ever since this came out, I have not stopped thinking about the seventh year anniversary. So in this video, I want to go through everything that we should see returning for the seventh year anniversary, but also what units we could be expecting, um, what banner units, what free to play units, what easy A's we could be expecting based off the you know the theme. But I want you guys to let me know what themes do you think we're going to see for the seventh year anniversary. What units personally do you want to see? I'm gonna give again give you guys my thoughts in this video, and then base you know all the banner units and easy A's and free to play units based off that stuff. But again, like this is there's no way. I'm, I'm going to prove to you in this video why the 7th anniversary should again be, um, should be the best anniversary in Dokkan history. Now, for the subscriber challenge for this video, if in case you guys are new to the channel, we always have a subscriber challenge. So only subscribe to the channel right now if you like Dragon Ball Super Broly more than Dragon Ball Z Broly. I'm a Dragon Ball Z Broly fan. I know a lot of people are as well. And so if you like Dragon Ball Super Broly over Z Broly, I consider that disrespect and I need you to subscribe to the channel right now. But if you're with me, all right, if, if we're homies and you like Dragon Ball Z Broly more, then I'm gonna let you subscribe. I'm gonna let you skip the subscriber challenge today, but I will catch you lacking in the next one. So let's just, uh, let's hop straight into this video. So again, first things first I wanna bring up is Again, seven Dragon Balls. I, we usually get like a, like a you know Dragon Ball campaign thing where every day we collect one Dragon Ball and then we can make a wish, which is definitely really cool, right? But I'm telling you right now, there is no way, no way that during the seventh year anniversary they don't revamp or update that event. Like this is, this is the time for them to go crazy generous when it comes to giving us really good, like really power. Imagine like. Three, imagine we can select three wishes or maybe even like all seven wishes. I don't know what they're going to do. Honestly, I can't even imagine it. But they like I want them to maybe allow us to pick more wishes or allow us to get the Dragon Balls more often or just like like upgrade the, the true quality of the mission. I'm not talking about like 100 Dragon Stones because why the frick not? Dude, if Dragon Ball Legends can go from one of the least generous, you know, Dragon Ball gacha or just Dragon Ball games into... One of them, like, literally having the best banner in gacha game history, I think we can all agree there. Then there's no reason why Dokkan, for their 7th year anniversary, couldn't go even crazier. So let me know what you guys think about that. Now, when it comes to the 6th year anniversary, you know, anniversaries prior to that, they've usually dropped, right, 9 new units. So they dropped, like, the UI Goku, Evolution Blue Vegeta, that's 2. Then the banner units for those units, so that's 4 in total, right? Because we got, like, the Piccolo Gohan and then, like, the Gohan and Golden Freeze, so that's 4 new units. And then we also got um, the part two unit, so that's six units in total. Then we also got three free to play units, right? We got the um, TN and Masaroshi, Krillin and 18, and then we also have LR Masaroshi. So that's nine units in total. So for this celebration specifically, I want a mix of GT and Dragon Ball Super. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because usually for anniversaries, they, they, they like bring two main units, like two super class main units, um, you know, What's it called for uh, like the, the headlining units for the anniversary, like the dual Dokkan Fest. But I don't really see who they, what they could do for just GT. I know like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is obviously one of them, but like who else could they possibly do? So I think a mix of GT and uh, Future is definitely the way to go here. Now for the main headlining unit, I do want to see uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta that fuse into Super Saiyan 4 and Gogeta. This is definitely something that everyone's been asking for. There's no reason why LR Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta shouldn't exist in the game, but it is what it is. For the banner unit, I want to see a new Pan. Um, I think Pan deserves a really powerful banner unit. I would love for her to support the GT Heroes team as well. Um, then we also have what I believe to be the future side of things. Now, I think it's possible that we could see a blue Goku and blue Vegeta which would be the first of their kind in the game because we do have a blue Goku and Vegeta, but one's Kaioken, the other one's like Evolution Blue, whatever. So it's like, I think, is he Evolution Blue? I don't know, but I think, yeah, he is. So Evolution Blue, uh, Go, uh, Vegeta, and Kaioken Goku. So this would be the first blue Goku and blue Vegeta of their kind in the game. And then they fuse into just directly into blue Vegeta, right? So I think that's very possible. And then for the banner unit, I think it would make a lot of sense if they finally introduced this guy into the game, the Rage Goku. Um, he could be... 
the three key 40 percent support to goku's family which is going to be a very very powerful support as you guys know okay so that those would be like my like the main uh dokkan fest like the, the dual dokkan fest you know banner units um for part one then for part two i do expect to see lr transforming omega shenron off right you know send to omega for like the gt side of things and then finally dude lr fuse amasu because he i don't know why he's not in the game yet lr fuse the only fuse amasu we actually have in the game standalone um is the sr physical uh th th that doesn't make any sense why is the only merge masu an, an sr it just doesn't make any sense so he needs to finally have his lr it would make a lot of sense for it to be right now during the celebration so again a banner of both lr fuse masu and lr omega that would be pretty freaking hype if you were to ask me now let's move on to the three free-to-play units now i gave the l the free-to-play lr that we usually get for the anniversary to gt and then I gave the other two free-to-play units um, to the future side of things, which I think makes a lot of sense. So for GT, I want to see a free-to-play LR, Ice, and Nova. I think this could be like the best friend to the LR or Mega Shenron. I think this unit could get a lot of buffs if they were on um, the Shadow Dragon team. Because when it comes to Shadow Dragons, you now have like the, the free-to-play LR, Mega Shenron, and Shadow Dragons. The new LR, Omega, one of the previous Omegas that we've had in, you know, in the past or previous sins we have in the past i know we have uh nova in the game too we need like a, we also need like an ice shenron um by himself but you know it is what it is um but i do think a like a dual um you know join forces gt bosses support um omega uh sorry uh ice and nova would definitely make a lot of sense for the free to play lr also uh two years ago we got a we got an extreme class lr and then last year we got a super class lr so i'm, I'm assuming they're gonna go back to extreme class this year it just makes a lot of sense and then for the for the other free to play units i will get easy days later on i want one to be a goku black and just Zamasu. it doesn't have to be rose goku black it could just be base form goku black and Zamasu. similar to how legends just got like the goku black Zamasu assist or Zamasu goku black assist whatever the unit is um i think that'll be pretty sick for Le for doe kind of get something along that side as well this could be the world turmoil or, or global chaos category support that the androids just you know literally um introduced into the game and then remember how i actually introduced you know the the three key 40 percent support to goku's family what if we got vegeta's family support through the Gallic Gun, Vegeta. Oh, this Vegeta looks so janky here, bro. But uh, Vegeta and uh, Trunks, uh, free to play unit that supported three key and 40% to attack and defense to Vegeta's family. So this celebration will give us a really powerful Goku, uh, Goku's family support and Vegeta's family support. One being free to play, one other being summonable. But I mean, I think it is what it is. And I think that's, dude, like this unit needs to be captured in this game, right? I know we have like easy A's for both of these units uh, but like they're separate they're not like the same unit i think this would be work a lot i think this would work i think this would work this makes a lot of sense this makes a lot of sense. i think all of this makes a lot of sense to be honest especially since we don't like we need this stuff that we don't we don't have a, we don't have an lr uh super saiyan 4 in this game we don't have a really good pan in this game we don't have um a, you know a, a fusing into vegeta like blue vegeto in this game uh we don't have rage goku we don't have l l or mega by himself we don't have this dude we don't have this we don't like we don't have these units except for like there's an lr version of this so sure i get it but um I, I, like we need most of this stuff so i think what i'm asking here is pretty fair and that's basically it for the new units we could see during this anniversary now i'm going to go through the events we should be return we, we should be seeing and then i'll get to the easy a's in the end of the video but let me know, let me know what you guys think about these units that i introduced here um what would you do differently what would you like to see instead uh let me know now let's hop into just the events right so first things first i think we'll get like not events but you know everything we should be seeing these tickets will definitely uh, return, in my opinion. So this gold, our rainbow ticket was allowed. It allowed us to summon on basically anything that we wanted. Then we have the 66 special summon ticket, which I'll talk about in a second. Then we also have the 6th anniversary ticket. So this will just be the 17th anniversary ticket that we can use on like the, the banner, which I'll talk about again in a second. Um, but this ticket right here, dude. This is going to be, most likely, the 77 special summon like banner. Do you... like? And on top of that, notice how all of these units here are like secondary banner units from previous Dokkan Fest, right? So I think like expecting, for JP Dokkan obviously, um, expecting Heart Virus Goku here makes a lot of sense, right? The new the GT Goku that dropped with Videl, a lot of sense makes, uh, you know, it makes sense to be here. The third form Frieza to be here, maybe 19 and 20, 
to be here. The GT units, like the, the Goten and Gohan, as well as the Goten and Trunks units to be here. I, I think the banner units, dude, the banner units have gotten so much better recently that this banner is like almost like a must summon for both the free to play and uh, summonable version. Now, it will probably cost like 300 Dragon Stones um, because it is against 77 characters with an LR guaranteed at the end. The LR banner, remember, uh, will be updated tremendously. So uh, you will have access um to a lot more lrs than you did last year of course since that just makes a lot of sense so keep that in mind as well and that just means the options of pulling things are just a lot better and then again there's going to be a ticket version like a free-to-play version of this as well that you'll be able to collect um tickets for throughout the whole course of the anniversary and then you'll be able to finally summon on it in part three so just uh keep that in mind but dude 77 characters in a multi is absolutely insane uh, then we have the coin shop, which again, like very, very generous. I do think instead of being limited to five times, it'll be limited to seven times because again, like, you know, it's seventh year anniversary. Getting seven of all these guys for free is absolutely like very, very generous. How could they? Like, I don't know. I, it's pretty cool. Um, and then we have like the, the we have, sorry, uh, the free redstone. I hope they update this shop. It just makes sense that they would, but hopefully we'll, we'll see what they do with the shop. Uh, but please don't please update it and then for the purple coin hopefully they update the shop as well but again you don't really have bad options here anyways just please update these shops uh then we should also be seeing a new event so last year we got the uh god of destruction basically event here um i i think we'll see something new i don't know what it could be um but something on the same difficulty as this that ends up giving us right like a a new support memory so um i could see Man, I could see... Actually, you know what they could do instead of a, a, a new event here? They could just add probably new stages um, to uh, with the legend... Like, the the fight... What's the... Bro, I forgot the name of the event that um, that came during Worldwide that we fought. Like, uh, there was like Namek... It was Namek Saga themed. I think it was a collection... Oh, Collection of Epic Battles. I think that's what it was called, right? So we could see two new stages for that. One introduced a support memory for GT Heroes. And then the other one be support memory for like... I don't know, future. I don't know what it would be, honestly. But again, I maybe they do do. I don't know what they're gonna do, man. Again, it's very hard to hard to see or hard to really determine what they what they're gonna do. But uh, maybe a new event is not too far off. Um, maybe we're fighting like it's like maybe it's like a it could dude. It could just be like a one like uh, one phase fight where we just like fight against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and he's like you know a trillion health a trillion attack a trillion defense and he, we have like a limited turns uh to beat him something like that maybe um it could be the same for Omega could it be the same for uh Vegito and then could be the same for uh Merge and Masu, right so let me know what you guys think about that um but I think that'd be pretty uh, you know pretty sick to see uh, then we also, I think it's very likely to say we're going to have a new stage of boss rush. So just literally more easy stones because uh, they're just Dokkan event bosses. Um, so like you just bring your best team. You're, you're literally going to be good to go unless, you know, you're... Dude, like I think Ginyu Force can probably destroy half of these stages, if not all of them. It's with, the, with the easy Ginyu Force, of course. So keep that in mind. Hopefully, you're, again, you're grinding your things in this game. Uh, the Ultimate Clash should be revamped as well. Um, hopefully they start increasing the, the, the rewards from this um, because as we know um, the things are getting very expensive uh, things are getting very expensive when it like LRs are getting very expensive when it comes to the currency for this mode so hopefully they dramatically increase the amount that we get maybe clearing these stages weekly or um, like just the amount of stones we get stuff we get overall again I'm content with the mode itself but uh, getting more like currency per fight, I think would be really freaking sick. So hopefully they do something like that. Uh, then we have explosive, explosive chain battle. I think we can see one or two of these, uh, like one in part one, one in part three, right? One, one, maybe against GT, the other one against future. We'll see what they do there. Uh, then we have, uh, infinite dragon ball history. Again, we could see one to two, one to two new stages. Again, one GT related, the other one, uh, future related. I will say we probably already have something like that here though. Like. I think, uh, let me see. So yeah, this is this is like GT bosses related, right? So we could see like a GT Heroes. Is there a GT Heroes version? There is not, right? No, there's not a GT Heroes version. So they could do a GT Heroes version of this. Um, and then they also could do... Yeah, see, look, this is the future version. So maybe they could do like an extreme class. I don't know what they're going to do here, obviously. Because uh, they, they already covered this here. So it's like, I don't know. So maybe they won't... I don't know, man. This, again, it's tough to see what they're going to do for the, for the anniversary here. But um, they could theoretically just do the same thing here but just go full villain mode so like maybe they have like base form goku black then just zamasu then rose goku black and then like 
I don't know, like merge Zamasu, um, then corrupt the Zamasu. I don't know what they're gonna do here, man. It's it's pretty tough to say, but let me know what you got. We're definitely gonna get like a new sage or two for this event, so keep that in mind. Uh, then Penton Petton Battle should also be returning as well with at least one to two new sets. We'll see uh, what they do with that. With, with that, all right. So it's basically, I mean, I'll, I'll, like not everything we should be seeing, but a majority of what should be returning, um, not including like he all this, all this does not include like the new events for the new free to play units and new LR stuff like that, the new Dokkan events and, and key, key, like it, there's a lot going on here. So I want to finally move into the easy A's that we could be expecting um, for the seventh year anniversary. I want to talk about the future side of things first. Okay, so here. We have the future category in Dokkan. Um, now, there's a few units here uh, that I could see getting easy A's, and things could get very, very hype very, very quick. So, uh, first, uh, if this unit does not get an easy A now for JP Dokkan, um, then I could see them definitely getting an easy A for the anniversary if the celebration is future themed, right? Um, so this guy would be very, very hype. Of course, remember we got an LR EZA last year as well, which is a lot that came out a lot, like way after this guy. So I think it's definitely possible for that. I could also see the EZA for this. Finally, LR Esther Vegito getting an EZA. This guy is actually not bad at all. He's really not. It's just, um, his, his stacking here has kind of, not that it slowed down himself, but the, the 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 amount of power that units are releasing now at this stage that this guy kind of it, it feels like he built up a, uh, like very very slow but it's not really that it's just units nowadays are starting off with just like literally five times this like at the start of the turn so it's like it, it, this guy is definitely gotten a little bit older he's not bad he's still good for long content but he just needs a little revamp so like literally give this guy like 130 percent attack and defense um keep the same key mechanic here and then maybe extra damage against uh, extreme class and then he's still gonna be—he's gonna be—he's gonna become literally a, a, just a lot better. So, uh, please easy at this man. I think I think we could definitely see it. Uh, then we could see like one easy A event maybe for these two chads right here. Like, dude, like this is where Dokkan becomes the best game ever, man. I don't know. See, I, I'm just excited for this. Like, this is these two units are going to like. Do you see this right here, dude? If this man becomes like a key four attack and defense plus 50 percent for extreme class do you understand how disgusting like that's gonna be and then this dude right here like he dude if you give him like a hundred percent to attack and defense at the start of turn he, he literally just becomes god especially if you give this if you increase okay look this, this is all you need to do for this guy literally all you need to do is increase medium to high or no medium to great Give this guy 50% to attack and defense at the start of turn, and then attack and defense plus 15%. So attack and defense plus 15% up to 150. So he builds up to 200% attack and defense. He's stacking with a great chance of launching like 80 million super attacks per turn. This That's how you make this guy go. Literally just give him 50% to attack and defense, make this attack and defense, and change medium to great, and he becomes, again, one of the best units in the game. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. And this guy, again, has the potential to be really, really good. Just give him defense here. Uh, make this debuff more potent, and you're good to go. Make this attack and defense, and then you're going to be good to go. So let me know what you guys. Ooh, this leader skills could be really interesting, too. It could be key for 150, I think for extreme class as long as you have all types this is again this is a this is this is an exciting time for for dokkan for sure and then last but not least remember we also had the ui eza last year so we could expect some dokkan fest EZAs this year to keep that in mind like including these guys right but um i think this guy is contender for an eza because he sucks and then this guy also because he sucks so uh these two okay they're not bad but they're really bad you know uh so these units i think i, I think could definitely you know, get easy A's. Uh, they really do deserve it. All this guy really needs, man, is just defense out of turn. Like, if they just stop playing and gave him 120% defense, he becomes a god. And just, you know, and then increases damage to 200%. He just becomes really good. He just needs defense. That's all he needs. And then this guy needs defense as well. Give him 110, 100, no, just 100% attack on defense. He becomes really powerful. Really powerful if you give him 100% defense. Because 100% defense with 40% damage reduction is insane. And then once he transforms... Until, uh, let's just go max power here, right? He should literally have four key, uh, two hundred eighty percent attack, and then maybe like, like, uh, like eighty percent defense at least. Eighty percent defense. This damage reduction should be a lot, a lot more, I think. And then super class allies should have like fifty percent to attack and defense lower or something like that. This guy deserves to be so much better. So it is what it is. Um, and then that is basically it again, uh, for the 
future side of things. Now I want to move on to the GT side of things and see which units could really get easy A's. So uh, this is the GT link in the game. Basically every single GT unit except for um, except for the except for the AGL 17, which I think is the Hellfire 17. He's not here. Is this Hellfire 17? I think this is Hellfire 17, right? Yeah, this is Hellfire. So the other Android 17 that should be here is not here. I think that's the only unit in GT that's not actually on the GT or just not the GT link. So again, it is what it is. Um, but when it comes to this category, I think I could see a lot more units getting easy A since you guys can see my tabs here. So first things first, I do I think this Oob could is contender for uh, having an easy A. Um, he's not bad. It's just, uh, you know, he's just not that great. Um, I would like to see this uh, this ability change right here. Uh, hopefully, they reduce the cost to get him. Um, and then I don't know what they like. I don't know, dude. Like this HP recovery is pretty is pretty decent. Give him like 150. Um, the orb changing is pretty cool. Make him like a mini support maybe for like Earthlings or connected hopes. A connected hope support would be really freaking sick actually. And dude, if you give this guy a key, oh my god, because this guy this guy was actually really good. He would be like a really good connected hopes like um like contender to run on the uh, run for like the GT LGE mission because connected hope is pretty tough for me. I've been like every other one except for that for that mission for me, so it's like pretty tough. If you give this guy like you know eight key sort of turn, 120% attack and defense, and then like extra defense like the lower your HP is, that's pretty freaking cool. Then when he transforms, it's like re recovers key, 10 key sort of turn because why the frick not? Uh, make him stack defense or attack on one of these or something like 150 170 here but just make him good bro. just make make him runnable please uh and then we have this guy right here I mean, he's runnable but not like that great you know then this guy could also see getting an easy a um it is not too likely but i do think they just need to, he, he needs like minor 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 tweaking right so you turn this into four key uh 120 he's just a lot better already turn this into um actually keep three key because three key makes a lot of sense yeah three key 120 then three key and 60 here where there's a pure sans category enemy this could actually be attack and defense plus 60 percent because why not um and then this could also just be extra attack right and then then maybe like extra attack on super when facing super class or whatever the case is again this guy just needs minor tweaking for him to be really good um i would like for him to be more like a better defensive option so maybe they just have him stack defense while giving him like extra attack boost and i think he'll be good to go uh then we have these two guys right here this is where the game again becomes very very fun um so this guy dude like you give him 150 percent to attack and defense greatly raise attack and defense for three turns extreme class enemies attack and defense minus 30 percent like he becomes god like dude i keep saying god but it's like if you're running this guy in sbr especially tech sbr which is not the easiest thing and he's lowering their attack and defense by 30 percent he's greatly raising attack and defense by 30 percent and he's countering with like a if this counter was guaranteed crit that'd be insane dude if he had 150 percent to attack and defense he lowered their attack and defense uh, every time he countered, it was a guaranteed crit chance. And, like, three turns of with maybe, like, stunning or something. Dude, he's, like, really freaking good, right? And then this guy deserves, again, to be real. He could be, like, the opposite. So, this guy um, could be, like, ceiling super attack, maybe. 150% uh, to attack and defense. All enemies attack and defense minus 30%. Um, make this... Uh, what is this chance here? 10% chance. Bro, why not just make this, like... I mean, dude, actually, you know what you could do? You can actually leave this at 120% to attack and defense. Make this uh, fifth. Yeah, make this. Keep it at 30. And then have this to launch a guaranteed additional super attack. That would be pretty freaking powerful. So, again, like, his stats are going to be lower. Or buffs are going to be lower than Gogeta's. But he's having additional, like, super attack. Which makes him really freaking powerful, I think. Um, then we, I, I, I could also see this guy getting an easy A. Um, his main issue is just that when you're low on HP, he's taking so much damage. The units who are built like this just suck. I'm telling you this right now. It's like, dude, units should be, should have more defense the lower your HP is. Because if you're low on HP, I've always said this, if you're low, if you're low on HP, it means you're taking, it means you're, the, the boss is pretty difficult, which means you need more defense, right? So if this guy was literally had like 100% to attack and defense and then got an extra 100%, the lower HP you, you had, 
on the grid of the boost, he becomes a lot better. And then make this a high chance to evade and counter with a high chance to crit. Uh, make this guy greatly raise attack for three turns and then massively. Yeah, this, like this is good. I think I think that's what they need to do for this guy. Uh, then we have this uh, Vegeta or sorry, baby Vegeta here who just I mean, honestly, make him a corroded body and mind support unit, dude. Like make him runnable on that team. Give him um, give him 150 percent defense. And then 200% attack when HP is 30% or more. Just keep that the same because why the frick not? Who needs him? We don't need him doing damage. We need him to support and be really good defensively. Then give uh, Corroded Body of Mind category allies 3 key and 40% to attack and defense. That way you can run him with the other like a Janemba unit right? and give that Janemba unit key. And then maybe just extra D or damage reduction when facing super class enemies. And you're literally good to go. Uh, this guy and this guy should also, I think, get easy A's. I would actually love to see um, an LR, uh, you know, Hell, uh, Frieza, and Cell. I think would be pretty freaking cool. Um, now, again, these units uh, could just be like literally just upgrades of each other, right? Uh, so this guy can get up to 120 with an extra 120 attack. Um, and then maybe some damage reduction when facing super class enemies. And then literally the same thing for this guy. Uh, what is their difference, though? So this guy seals. Make this a guaranteed stun. Guaranteed stun. Guaranteed seal. And then make this guy support extreme class units, like two key 20%. And then same thing for this guy. Again, you you just become so much better, so much more runnable that way. That is basically it, man. So I could see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen possible easy A's given the celebration uh, could be you know GT slash future. Um, I could see uh again like a, all of this content coming back possibly even a new event uh you know for the celebration as well um a lot of possible units here uh the seventh anniversary man is nothing to really like scoff at this is going i'm telling you right now this is going to be uh the biggest thing uh in token i just don't see i do not see how this is not the best celebration token history i just don't see i, I this is their this is their opportunity to shine and if legends can again release the most just the best banner in gotcha history then why couldn't dokkan top that let me let me know what you think because there's just no reason why if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe if you are new and i will see you in the next one peace